You told me so much by the way you asked the question. You think communicating makes you corny and needy, not even remotely close to the truth. And you think that being in a relationship requires you to be friggin' cute? No. So what we care about is where did these limiting beliefs come from? So let's do a quick love, you know, a, a downloaded love blueprint. It's like a little inventory that we can do where you go where did you, what, where did the notion that to be in love, you got to be cute? Where did that come from? That is so specific, right? Exactly. Imagine it that it's like an architectural blueprint for a house that someone else designed decades, maybe centuries ago. And most of the time, if you're not awake in your life, if you're not seeking to understand your behavioral patterns, it just gets passed down from one generation to the next. So, so all of us have these downloaded blueprints and they're all super different. So I venture to guess that the person who asked this question, you somewhere in your growing up, somewhere in your life, you saw that being um, female, being a woman in a relationship means being cute. Communication is like the lifeblood of any actual healthy relationship. It is the thing that if you figure nothing else out, you have to figure out how to communicate. You must, because there's no way that uh, any of us are gonna guess well enough to get our needs met in a relationship if we're not saying what our needs are. And I find that with women, there's such a tendency to just not do it. We're just like, they should know. Like each family has its own cultural norms around love. So you have to know your own because that is what's in the, also your download love blueprint is also in the basement with the bag of crap. So it's like, it's you, you may not see it. What we think is we think that this is the way love is. We don't realize that this may be just the way love was for our folks or our parents or in the home that we grew up in. So the only way to change that is to realize that you can communicate for the person who wrote that in any way you want in a relationship. You don't need to be cute. How are you gonna find your right person if being cute is something you feel like you have to put on, but it, you're, it's not? Anyway, right. what I want you to do is look at your downloaded love blueprint and then give yourself permission to be fully and wholly yourself because then you will resonate with the person who's a good match for you.